welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, uh, I'll just show one aspect of uh, implementing a research paper on stock market price prediction using uh, graph neural network, right? So this will be the fifth video uh, in that series. Okay, let me see. If you go here, I think this is the YouTube. I think you can see that uh, step three, one, two. Okay. Yeah, I'm uploading one another. That will be step four. Okay, let me see. So quote training one, one, one is being uploaded, right? Okay. So what is the goal of this project? What is the goal of this particular video? Okay, previously I used only uh, 10 stocks, 10 stock data uh, for the, as input for the graph convolutional neural network, right? At this moment, I will create a larger data set. Okay, I'll, I will use the same code. I will use the same code and see uh, if uh, the code can smoothly generate a large data set and we can, I can use it in the, the uh, graph neural network. Yeah, the GC that is not finalized yet. We need to work on it, but I'm just let's let's uh, uh, make that data set bigger as well. Okay, because 10, 10 rows, that's it, 10 stocks, it may not be good enough for prediction, right? Because we are also using correlations. Okay, yeah, sometimes uh, the people uh, predict for one stock at a time, one stock data and then predict, but I think. We're using correlations among stocks to identify the to predict the prices. So in in that case, art will not use uh, ten, right? We need more. So at this moment, I I will be joining. Uh, I I'll be using around around three thousand. To be specific, two thousand eight hundred. If I can say it, around two thousand eight hundred. Okay, let's say kernel. Uh, restart and clear output, right? So this one, okay, in the data folder. Okay, yeah, I'm just finding out all the files name. So I'm just showing the top 100. Okay, shape is not uh, recognized. This is not a, okay. List of files to process. Okay, because I took only 10 from here, right? All file names, yeah, I think to keep things simple in the beginning, I took just uh, so that when I first started, I did not want to make the data size uh, so big that I, I cannot proceed or anyway, just small things, make make the code progress a little bit, make it working, and then uh, make the data size larger and see how things go. And my model is not perfect yet, but let me, because so, sort of things is already in place, so make the data set big, and then I will uh, add up the model so that uh, everything fits together and I get some useful output, okay? Okay, now it shows, yeah, as I told, almost 2,800, okay. So how many rows of data are there? This actually is not required. Uh, I'll not say this is not required. Uh, I probably was doing some modifications uh, so that concatenation is becomes easier. I can check what sort of, yeah. I think it's always the case you write code and then after you come back sometimes and you may not remember every, every single bit of things. Let me see. So, I'm just checking uh, what I do in terms of uh, 
before modification or after modifications. Okay, now you, now I got it right. Okay, I think in the original data set, uh, the file name has the ticker symbol, but inside the data, there is no stock ticker. So I needed to, from the file name, I found the ticker and then uh, insert it into the data itself. Okay, yeah, that probably what, okay. So this is the file name. I'm taking some part of the uh, file to find out the ticker. Let's see, this is the, right, this is the file name. And let me see. I can bring up one of the, Okay, I hope that I can show you something here. Okay, let's put it there. I'm not sure if I paste it. No, it doesn't paste, right? So let's see. I am opening a paint software and I will be sharing Okay, stop share and then share screen. Where is the paint? So you can see, this is what is in the original data file that I downloaded from the, uh, I will be at Yahoo or Kaggle somewhere. And then it doesn't have the stock ticker, right? Apple or Microsoft, MSFT or Tesla, TSLA, it is not there. But after modification, as I took the, uh, stock name and put into into the, file data. Okay, let me see. I think I can just uh, show from here. So if I go to paint, so you already saw it, right? Now if I just Paste it. Let's see. There is no ticker symbol here. So after modification, I bring the I take the ticker inside the CSV file, and then I will be uh, joining all the data that also has that sticker in it, and then I combine them. Stickers ticker symbol of different stocks will also be there, and their corresponding prices will also be there. Okay. Let me see. I believe I have a previous. Uh, Uh, okay, I thought that I had a previous merged file. I'm not really sure that I it got uh, replaced. It probably got uh, replaced. Anyway, that will have all the different stocks. At this point, initially, one file has one stock data without the ticker symbol after modification. I take the same data, insert the ticker symbol in it, and then when I merge, that will be all the different tickers and all the different uh, time series data. That's what, what it will be. Okay, so, okay, yeah, I think I wrote it here, insert a stock ticker, save data in any files, that's okay. Okay, uh, it may take some time because 2800 file will be taking it from the source folder and modifying it, saving it in the new one. Okay, let me pause recording, then I'll come back. Okay, the code actually break. I think I, I saw that around 1564 
OSR process, then it, it got broke. So let me debug. I think uh, what I was trying to see that what is the file name? It broke. It probably has some syntax issues. So we'll deal with it. Okay. Let's run it again. I'll pause it. I'll come back. Okay, so it looks like this is the CSV file that might be having an issue. Let me check what is inside this uh, CSV file. So the error, what does it say? Error tokenizing data C, expected seven fields, so nine. Yeah, I think it looks like uh, data mismatch. I think number of fields mismatch. It can be some sort of uh, separation character. It, it, it could be that thing. Let me see if I can find it and then. Okay, the name is LRCX. Just taking long here, but when I'm doing some window search, it looks like finding it on my own could be better. LR. Yeah, I think it was about merging different files, I just thought it would be easy. Yeah, it's easy, but sometimes things don't work well, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, actually the file looks okay to me. I don't see that there is uh, any syntax issues, let me share that with you as well. So I was doing this one, lrcx.csv, right? lrcx, let me quote lrcx.csv, I just checked the code. So I believe you can see it. I don't see there is any issue with the thing. Okay, the only thing is this one. Uh, let me, no, let's remove this one. Right, what else do we see? It's actually hard to find out because then I may need to write another program to see. Okay, LRCX, right? Okay, screen sharing stopped, I can share it again. Okay, so I hope it will work, but another thing, we can also do a little bit of, of uh, list of files to process. Okay, that's where it, okay. Zero, right? Mm. I think one easy thing, I think if we already have that uh, file on the modified folder, we do not need to convert it that we can save some time, right? So that probably something, a little bit of code change and then we can go from there. Let me take a pause and write the code and then come back.
Okay, you're just checking if that corresponding file exists in the modified. And then if file exists, we print, we break. I think break I, I used for the uh, debugging purpose. I don't need any of this. Okay. If file exists, continue. Okay, let me see. Let me show that it works, right? Yeah, a.csv already is there. So ideally, we want to do a little bit more to it. Okay, okay. You can definitely use try catch finally. if there is an error, we still can move forward. Okay. Now, accept finally. Okay, if there is a syntax error, it will say us, right? Otherwise, it will move on. So previously, we got stuck at 1564. So I believe it now can take more. Okay, it got past L, so I believe it's it's taking more, right? Yeah, I assume that uh, it's taking sequence uh, alphabetically. Maybe, not impossible. Yeah, I can see it's working. Almost uh, 2,000 files are converted. So, yeah. Okay, I'm pausing it, I'll come back when... Uh... Okay, I can see that all 2,825 files got converted. Probably that LRCX, LRCX. Okay, mm -hmm. I need to see if it got converted or just uh, the, let me see. LRCX, LRCX. Yeah, it also got converted. Probably the date format that we fixed that probably was uh, made it made it work. Okay. Yeah, that is also one of the data adjustment in data analytics or data science or machine learning project development. That is a very important part. Okay. List of files to process. I believe. Okay, okay, yeah. So 28, 25, that's okay. Now we'll be combining, right? In our first video, we, we explained it, it's just pd.concatenation. Okay, it may take some time, right? 
compare the size before and after. Okay, let it combine and then we'll check. I think this is the one, two, three. 77 blocks, right? Yes. Yeah, 77 lakhs uh, rows of data. What does it mean? We may have 2,800, right? 2,800, that means 77 lakh or total divided by this. So we can assume that per, for each stock, on average, how many data are there? Yeah, because I think uh, 